Well, welcome to Grandpa Jim's Gardening Tips. As you can see, the sun is shining. We've only had a week of nothing but rain, almost four inches of rain. Uh, very difficult to get out in the garden. So we're really looking forward today to just getting out and doing some planting. Today we're gonna grow leeks. Now leeks are those things you see when you go into the grocery store and you see it look like giant, giant green onions. And leeks are, are really, really cool type of uh, plant to grow and they're really, really healthy for you. Um, you can start them from seed. Um, you can also get them online. Folks, there are folks that sell them and you can buy the plants. When we got our plants, they were so small. So I went ahead and potted them up into uh, cell packs. And I wanna show you how to grow these. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna show you something here. Do you see here where it starts to branch off and make leaves? That's how deep you have to grow your leeks. Leeks also are very uh, heavy feeders and they need nice soft soil. And that's what we have here, lots of organic matter in it. And you plant them about six inches apart. And what I use is, a, this is called a dibber. Uh, some people will just go ahead and use the uh, end of a handle of a garden tool or a trowel. But what I do is you poke your hole down in here, go fairly deep, and then when you stick your uh, leak down in, and I'm gonna make the hole just a little bit wider, you don't wanna bury it, or you do wanna bury it up to where it starts to branch out because what the part of the uh, leek that you're wanting to eat is gonna be the big white stem. Now, when we plant these, we will plant them, and then, as you see here, I'm used to putting them where my peas are at. The peas are gonna grow, they're going to, uh, when the weather gets hot, they're gonna kinda fizzle out. We'll take them out, and now we have, we side by side, we've grown our leeks, and then they can kinda have the whole bed to themselves but they are heavy feeders, so I just poke a hole here, take this little maple tree whirly bird, and then what we'll do, you can see here, see where they start to branch right about there. So that's how deep we wanna put it in the ground. And I can tell you this, when they're young, they're very slow to grow. You stick them in the soil, they will take off like you would not believe. Now, you probably, maybe you folks have eaten uh, potato leek soup. You can use them for that. Uh, some people, they like to uh, actually grill them. And see here, we're gonna plant it and then we're gonna kind of hill it up, up to where it branches out. You can saute them. And you can saute them. And uh, unlike onions, leeks can be chopped up and froze. They don't have near as much water content in them so that you can, you can actually freeze them and use them year round. So that's how we plant leeks. And I just uh, encourage all of you to continue to learn how to garden. As they grow, do you heal them? Yes, yes, that's right. Thank you, my, my assistant here telling me this. <laughs> as, I, as I put these in, as they grow, you start to heal them up. And that way, you'll have long stems that are nice and white, and that's the part you use. Some people say you can eat the leaves, but they're very tough. So I suggest only eating the white part of them. And then we will just continue to heal them up. Um, and they take a very long season. It'll probably be fall until they're ready. So there you go. Again, I encourage you to garden, become more self-sufficient. Uh, we live in a neighborhood here. We're urban gardeners. We are not big country gardeners. Anybody can grow. So thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.